Indiana Military Veterans Hall of Fame in Lawrence is now accepting nominations for their 10th anniversary class happening now through August 1st. Welcome to Chairman Kevin Ryan to tell us more about how you can nominate an Indiana veteran in your family or community. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it, Ryan, Jillian. Uh, just get on our website, imvhof.com. It's free and you get the link right there to give you all the information how to nominate a hero. Yeah, for those who aren't familiar with the Hall of Fame, let's talk about what you do and what this means to families. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, first of all, I want everyone to know that uh, I'm a patriot, not a veteran. Yes. So I'm a founder of the Hall of Fame along with uh, a Colonel Russ Dowden, who was inducted into Arkansas Military Veterans Hall of Fame and Mark Moulton, who's a technical sergeant, uh, also retired military. And anyway, it means so much to so many folks because it gives a chance to really honor the best of the best. Mm. It's the all-star team of the Indiana military. Yeah, that's a great way of putting way it. Good way to put yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And, and so as people are thinking about nominating maybe a relative who's still living or, or served and is deceased, what are some of those um, parameters that they have to work with to nominate someone through the website? Uh, mainly, it's, it's very simple. I mean, you, you just have to be honorably discharged from the military. Okay. Uh, have lived or been processed through, lived in Indiana for five years, born or processed through Indiana to the military. Yeah. And as long as you're honorably discharged, not a, not a convicted felon, you're eligible. Okay. Yes. I can only imagine the stories that you have heard. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe talk about just the range of just different scenarios that you've encountered from people who've been nominated. Well, um, it's so amazing because you, about 50% are posthumously uh, brought in and so it could be somebody in their family who yeah, yeah. did the research and here's you know great grandma and great grandpa uh, that uh, are in the Hall of Fame or it can be a gentleman that walks up and and you hear this story about how he fought in battle and what he did and he gets up and he's 90 years old and he's as a walker mm -hmm. and you realize that this guy you know is as tough as they come yeah. so uh, it's it's uh, not a dry eye in the place right. uh, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity to uh, you know, to honor our heroes. Yeah, yeah. and you, if this isn't just, uh, I mean, a web thing and not just digitally, but you have a freestanding building where people can actually go and see those stories. Tell us about that. Uh, 13, we started 2013, and 17, we raised money amongst Indiana's credit unions. I was actually a credit union CEO as my trade, and uh, they, they brought the money in, and we built a freestanding facility, uh, Herbert Lord Road, uh, just uh, next to the Department of Finance and Accounting Services building sure. at Fort Harrison. Yeah. American Legion gave us the land, and we have a, a memorial there where you can go in and uh, electronically pull up whoever you want and read the background of wow. why they're there. Yes. That's great. Preserving those stories is so important, especially mm -hmm. for younger family members who may not have known an older you know, grandparent or great-grandparent who served and fought uh, and is no longer with us. So again, what do, what do people need to do? What's the first step that they can do to nominate? Just go to the website. Okay. Uh, once you get there, pull up the nomination packet. There's information there for you to be able to fill it out. There's a phone number to call to get you help. Okay. It's free and uh, that's the main thing. That's awesome. Yeah, and I'm sure for you it's so rewarding to be a part of this. Well, especially, uh, I mean, I have veterans in my family, but to be a patriot and to be mm -hmm. a part of this, yeah. Uh, Colonel Dowden stepped down. Uh, the board uh, nominated me as the next chairman, which I was very surprised, but it's a great opportunity. I'm, I'm very proud of it. Thank That's you. That's great. It's close to home for me, too. My dad, L, is uh, on your board. He's our newest member. Yeah. I so know shout L. Out to dad. Shout out yeah. to L. It's great. Oh, yeah. He's everywhere. Sure. He is. He I think you need to send in a nomination for Well, I, I was talking to Kevin about that. There's a certain time frame that we have to wait until that. Yeah, but we'll, yes. Okay, okay, yes. yeah. you yeah. got to keep it He's got to be in. Yeah. The, He's brought to. a lot of power, a lot of enthusiasm to our board of directors. He's a, yeah. Your father's a great guy. Yeah, thanks. Well, likewise, and thanks for here. IMVHOF.com. Uh, you can call that number as well for help uh, nominating a Hoosier hero in your life. Thanks, Kevin. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. Yeah. Thanks for telling us about this. My pleasure. Well, we're playing our pop quiz trivia game next, and we want you to join us for the fun. That's right. We'll see you when we come back. I hope I win today. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How are you feeling? All right. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. That's why some nights we try to keep.